According to the internet, yes, the whole internet, one of the best ways to save money on your electric bill is to turn down that hot water heater. So let's test it and see if it lowers my bill. Okay, one thing you may or may not know about me is I have five kids. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> So if you ever hear babies or anyone screaming in the background, that's probably them. So according to a couple of websites, I'll link them down below, but your hot water heater takes up 18% of your energy bill. So they recommend that you turn it down to 115 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Now what I'm going to do is on my electric bill website. It's it actually breaks down week by week how much you spend. So I'm going to look at it this week and then raise it back up and then see if there's any difference. My husband Josiah is gonna help. He actually also has a YouTube channel and I'll link that down in the description box below. According to the internet. <laughs> according to the internet. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's a lot of things according to the internet. <laughs> Do this at your own risk. According to the internet, there are two different thermostats. So there is one here. I don't know if you can see that. The upper thermostat. The upper. And then there's one down here that's the lower thermostat. So you need to turn the power off so you don't electrocute yourself. That is very important. Ah! Then, and you attempt all of this at your own risk. Then you turn the thermostat down. They say to have it between 120 and 115 degrees Fahrenheit. And always grab your screwdriver by the rubber, not by the metal, or you might get electrocuted from a shock. And it said that the top thermostat needs to be higher than the bottom. Ours was already pretty low. You can probably leave that one where it was. And just lower. That's 90. Okay. I'm going to put it at 120. Okay. And then the bottom one has to be lower than the degree wise than the. I will set it on 115 ish. Okay. They say you can save anywhere between 5 and 8%, 36 to $60 a month on your electric bill. The electric kitty, script, what? Just by lowering your hot water heater. Also, I really like hot showers. I don't like cold showers. And it's in that weird season right now of like kind of still winter, but kind of spring. So hopefully we will not be taking cold showers this week. So I didn't think we'd be getting this personal this soon on this channel, but let's turn on the shower and see the temperature. As you can tell, I just took a shower and it wasn't cold, but it wasn't like steaming hot. It was kind of in that middle. So it won't make me like linger in the shower because it's so hot. And it probably won't make my kids linger in the shower because it's so hot. So I'm guessing we probably will save money just because people aren't gonna linger in the shower. Okay, it has been one week and I want to show you what our electric bill website showed for, electric for 
um, last week and then this week, and I'll put it here. And we did save money, but is it worth it? Now our hot water heater was already at like 125 before we started this and we turned it down to 115. So is it worth it? Our showers were pretty cold. I mean, they weren't like brr cold, but they were, I'm not gonna linger. I'm gonna get clean and get out, which saved us money, which was good. But especially when it's cold, it's miserable. Um, so I think not going below 125 would be ideal. And that's what we were already at. If you check your hot water heater and it's above 125 degrees Fahrenheit, I would turn it down. It will save you money. It won't be, you really won't notice it because we had hot showers before, but this was a fun experiment. My husband cannot wait to turn it back up. Don't turn it up. Um, sorry, the kids are upstairs and they're being real loud. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, tell me what the temperature of your hot water heater is and leave it down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.